So apologies about the weather, and this is a very quick and improvised video, but this is to quickly address people who want to install the 19th of October 2023 firmware and newer since there's some things that I have to quickly cover before you start driving on this. So first of all, I'll leave a li wiki link in the description about all these calibration settings and what they do and about the different uh, gearbox variants and stuff. But basically, once you flash that software, you'll need to download the new version of the config app. Again, I'll leave all of that in the... Um, tester channel and you'd want to go to TCU program settings now it will fail to read everything correctly so you just select your YML file which you download from the firmware releases page as well in my case mine is here and then I want to direct you to this cal setting string here you want to click this and these settings here you basically have to play to find which one works with your car since thanks to Mercedes I do not know any of these um, specific calibration sets for every car because it's not even based on VIN. It's based on the part number of the gearbox, which could have different internal part numbers. So it's very confusing. Um, so essentially for my E55 AMG, I've chosen hydraulic set one, which is zero to 9,700 millibars, but you can see the descriptions for all the other ones, including the clutch friction sets. So in large nag here or small nag, so definitely you need to change the clutch set at least if you have a large nag because by default it's a small nag uh, clutch set. And then finally the spring set for the release springs of the gearbox. All of that information can be found here on the wiki page going about what um, the different calibrations are. Um, so yeah, feel free to give it a try. And a couple of notes. First of all, the 1 to 2 shift right now is extremely harsh because I'm reworking the entire pressure algorithm for the gearbox. So that's a work in progress. And also the reverse and drive selection is extremely harsh since again that also needs to be reworked after this entire pressure management system rewrite. So that will be all for this video, just a very quick one to address this firmware which I'm going to put out in a bit after send uploading this video. So other than that, happy testing! And uh, for those of you who might be stumbling across this video anyway, I am working on the next part of the TCU series so we'll cover all of this in there. So see you next time, bye!